All right, guys, what is going on? Fly here, and I have something pretty cool to show you today. So, about six days ago, a Reddit user uh, by the name of Borg184 um, had a Reddit post that said, well, that's an in interesting place to start. And so what he found out that if you, hang on, let me get a, uh, he said, if you load up the Battle of Britain map with uh, Germans in custom battle and you choose the G6 and set it up so you're out in the sea, you can start off um, on a German or a Axis aircraft carrier. And today I'm going to show you some pictures and talk to you about what this aircraft is or who made it and who used it. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start off with some screenshots. I do have video gameplay, but I wanted to show you guys how I identify this aircraft carrier and who it was made by. So when I loaded up and pressed enter and I was on the deck of the carrier in the custom battle, I immediately thought that what I was sitting on was a Graf Zeppelin. Now the Graf Zeppelin is a pretty well known Nazi aircraft carrier from World War II. And as I looked more at what I was sitting on in game and what I was looking at, looking at on the web, it didn't really add up. The aircraft carrier in the game was much more streamlined. Um, it didn't have so much edginess to it, so I kind of counted the Graf Zeppelin out. And then right when I counted the Graf Zeppelin out, another uh, Nazi aircraft carrier popped into mine. So this carrier was called the KMS Europa, which was a converted passenger cruise liner into an aircraft carrier. And so when I looked up the KMS Europa up online, um, I thought that this ship was it. I thought I nailed it right on the head because what I was looking at on the internet was exactly what I was on in the game. But as I looked a little bit closer, I noticed two main differences. So as we can see on the KMS Europa, its radio tower is a lot less busier than the carrier in the game. And then the second difference is that the KMS Europa's bridge is a lot lower to the deck. Um, there's less levels on the KMS Europa than the aircraft carrier in the game. And with finding these two flaws, I knew it was in the KMS Europa. And so I'm looking around the aircraft carrier, trying to figure out what is it. And so to my amazement, I'm flipping around one side of it, and this flag catches my eye. And it's not a flag that I'm, you know, I'm used to seeing a German, American, um, Japanese, British flags. And then I spot this Italian flag on the bow of this aircraft carrier. And then so bam. I go right to Google, type in World War II uh, Italian aircraft carriers. And what the first thing that pops up was the Aquila. So I click on that link, and there's a picture of an aircraft carrier. So I take that picture and compare it to the in-game uh, carrier. And I start to realize, like, oh my gosh, these things look exactly the same. I look at the radio tower, the same radio tower. I look at the control bridge, the, the same control bridge. I even look at the lines on the deck, and they are exactly the same. So here it is, guys. I'm confirming this carrier as the Italian aircraft carrier Aquila. And it is one of the first Italian aircraft carriers ever. And realizing that Germany has an aircraft carrier in War Thunder leads us to suspect that in future future updates we're going to be seeing BF-109T variants and JU-87C and D variants. Those are the naval planes that have tail hooks. And that's just to name a few. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far and as I promised here is the video gameplay of the Italian aircraft carrier Aquila. Hope you enjoy guys.